What's going on, everybody? Coach Anderson here. My ASVAB party people today, we are working on Y equals MX plus B word problems. So in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to know when you're in that situation and exactly how to set things up. So don't forget my party people, today's Monday. If you're watching this video, we have a class on this here, right here. We have it tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. So go ahead, check the link in the description. So go ahead and sign up for free, show up and raise your score. Here we go. So first things first, as always, my party people, what do we do? We have to read the question. We read the question and it says, if John rents a car and drives it for blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's conditional information. We want to get to the meat here. And that's going to be the who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following. That's what we want to start with. And so it's not going to be in the beginning, the if part, it's going to be how much will he have to pay in total? Boom. So start right there, write that down. And we want to say, hey, John pays blank dollars total. All right, cool. So when you think about that contextually, you know, over time, you'll think more about this. But when you think about, hey, am I looking for something in the beginning, the middle or the end? Well, when you're looking for the amount that you're going to pay in total, you're kind of looking for that end result. So that's a good way to kind of think about things as we kind of move along with the information because it's going to help us really contextualize things, line things up. So don't forget that. It looks like we're looking for that final value. Okay, so what's next? Well, now we're going to write down the information. And this is where I'm going to show you how to know when you're dealing with Y equals MX plus B. This is it right here. So we know that he rents the car and drives it for 180 miles. We're not going to pretend that we didn't see that. So we're going to say drove for 180 miles. I'll just write that down right there. Then up next, what do we have? We see that it says a car rental company charges a base fee. What does a base fee mean? That's the beginning amount. So it charges a base fee of $30 for renting a car plus an additional 25 cents Per mile driven and then again rent it for 180 miles so let's write that out here again so in blue we have a base fee of 30 an additional 25 cents per mile and then drove for 180 miles so if I write that all down base fee $30 right there and then we have the additional uh, charge of 25 cents per mile so Boom, right there, and we are good. So how do we make sense of all of this? Again, again, how do I know that this is Y equals MX plus B? That's the big question. How can I repeat the success beyond this question? And don't, don't forget, we have another question right after this one, so stay tuned. So the reason I know that this is gonna be Y equals MX plus B is because I have a base amount, an initial amount, a starting amount. Then on top of that, what I notice is I have a rate, something happening in between. I'm being charged 25 cents per mile. How do I know that's a rate? It's the per. The word per gives it away. When you talk about dollars per hour in terms of how much you're earning or dollars per mile or feet per second or whatever it might be, whenever you see that word per, that tells you you're dealing with a rate. And with the rate, you'll typically multiply it by whatever that last thing at the end is per mile. So we're going to multiply this by the number of miles to see what the charge is going to be. So what does that mean? We have the beginning amount. We have the charge per mile. And this is how many miles we drove. And we're trying to get that final amount. Now, now that I talked about it in English, let me show you what that looks like in math right here. Y equals MX plus B. B is your beginning amount or your base amount in this case. The M, that's your rate, your slope. That's going to be the 25 cents per mile. How many miles did we drive? That's going to be 180 miles. So once we add all this up, we'll get that result. So again, there are four pieces of information that you need here. One of them is typically going to be missing. If you have a beginning amount, a rate, and then the time or the proper value for the rate, and then the result, four things, beginning, slope, the independent variable, which is typically time, not in this case, and then the end result. Those four things will tell you you're dealing with Y equals MX plus B. I've identified that I'm looking for the end amount. And all I got to do is plug in my values. 
and see what's up. But it takes time to learn this, but let's plug it in and get to the next problem so you see exactly how I handle that next one. So here we go, y equals, my slope was 25 cents per mile and we're driving for 180 miles. And then we're gonna add that base fee at the end. Because remember, just because we find out what this is and that's gonna be $45, once we find out what that is, that doesn't mean that that's the total charge. We have to remember to bring back that base fee. So hopefully that's making a little more sense here. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if this is actually helping you out so I can make more of these. But there it is. So plugging in those values, here we go. Y equals 0.25 multiplied by 180. Again, 0.25 is the same as one quarter. So 180 divided by four is 45. If you go to the gym, that's easy math, right? and then plus 30, so that's gonna give us $75 total. And there we go, boom. That's how much John here is going to pay for that car rental. So let's hop on over to the next one right over here and let's try this one out. But before I begin, don't forget, we have a free class tonight, my party people. Go ahead and check out the link in the description of this video or go ahead and visit our website. That way you can just boom, sign up, show up, raise your score for free. You also get a free practice test with video solutions. So go ahead, don't wait. But here we go. Hopefully they gave you enough time to pause the video so we can try this next one out. But watch this. How many months has Sarah been a member of the gym? Okay, so we'll just say right here, member for blank months. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Next up, I'm gonna collect my information pretty smoothly here, watch this. $50 membership fee. And then it says $30 per month to access the facilities. So it sounds like you got to pay 50 bucks to go ahead and begin the membership. Then you pay $30 every month for access. And then after some months, so we're looking for the number of months, the total amount is 290. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that means that the result, the final, so if we write out Y equals MX plus B, what this means is the final amount is $290. What's the beginning amount? Right there, we're told $50 base fee. Okay, what about the $30 per month? Well, that's the rate. Again, that per, that word per gives it away. Boom, so that's my slope or my rate in this case, and I'm looking for X because it's the rate here, $30 per month. And so what you're multiplying that by is the number of months. And that's how we know that this is the X value in this formula. Booyah right there. So now that we're here, all we have to do is solve this nice little equation. Let's zoom on in and do that. And here we go. We'll begin by subtracting 50 on both sides. Nice and easy right over there. Booyah goes ahead and cancels on the right, giving me 240 equals 30X. And then the last thing we need to do, if you know how to solve equations, nice and easy. Divide by 30 on both sides, and we are good. Our x here equals eight. So our friend Sarah here was a member at this gym for eight months, and her total charge was $290 because of it. And there it is, my math party people. So again, my party people, thanks for watching the video. Um, again, as always, we have that free class tonight, so don't hesitate join go to the website click the link in the description get that done and i'll see you in the next video cheers thanks for watching my asvab party people but do yourself a quick favor if you like these videos well then why not just join me for a free class once a week again it's free for two hours so i can help you raise your confidence get that score where you want it to be so you can enlist in the job you deserve my party people i'm coach anderson sign up show up and let's ace the asvab